Hi, I'm Randy Osborne, District Fish Biologist with Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife. Winter is an excellent time to catch rainbow trout, and the best part is you don't need a boat to be successful. Today, we're fishing off a small point near Keller Ferry, overlooking the vast expanse of Lake Roosevelt. At over 80,000 acres, Lake Roosevelt is the largest reservoir in the state of Washington and home to an annual release of 750,000 triploid rainbow trout. If you're accustomed to fishing developed urban lakes, this shoreline is a playground 630 miles long, both beautiful and rugged. It is here that simple shoreline fishing techniques are used to catch big stringers of rainbow trout. These fish are released from net pens each year as part of a cooperative project between the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife and the Colville and Spokane tribes as mitigation for hydropower impacts due to the construction of Grand Coulee Dam. Last year, we produced a video on winter trolling tactics here at Lake Roosevelt. Because boat fishing is so popular here, the rainbow trout fishery is often overlooked by shoreline anglers. And that's why we're here today, to show you a couple bank fishing techniques. And for you beginners, I think you'll be surprised just how fun and easy bank fishing can be. So today, out here, we're bank fishing for rainbow trout, and it's a really basic way to fish. Uh, it's great for beginners, great for avid anglers. So I just wanted to go over what technique we're using and then some of the bait choices that you can use out here. It's a real simple system. We're using an egg sinker, which in basic trout fishing techniques video that we have on this website, you can also see uh, how to rig that. Uh, we're using a real simple leader. Uh, this is Maxima, but uh, any, any non-visible leader. Three to four feet of this leader is what we're, what we're using to float our bait up off the bottom. And since we're talking about floating bait, uh, when you think about these fish out in the water column, if you leave stuff on the bottom, they don't see it. Uh, they can see up really well, they can see out to the sides really well, but fish can't see beneath them. So you need to get this bait floated up off the bottom. And so some of the choices are buoyant bait choices like this power bait. But what we're using mostly today, and what comes for about a dollar a bag, is a simple old white marshmallow and a piece of nightcrawler. And the system here, and the way to make this work best, is you play with your leader length. Today it seems like four to feet of leader works really well, but we have caught some on three feet of leader, and I think you'll see as the day goes on uh, that these fish like that certain leader length, and maybe pay attention to that when you see these fish landed, because you'll see they're all on similar leaders. Um, <clears throat> whether you're at Lake Roosevelt, which is all sandy bottom, or in thinking about fishing western Washington lakes or eastern Washington desert lakes, you need to make sure that that bait is floated up off of the bottom and above the weed line. So in lots of places, those weeds are two, three, four feet tall. You need to make sure that you've got your bait up above that. So with that, let's go catch some fish. Oh, oh, look at that thing. Oh, man, nice fish. Fighter. Another nice Lake Roosevelt rainbow. Look at that thing. My word, nice fish.
there are just dozens of opportunities to bank fish in Washington. This is just one of them, but look at the great fish that we're catching here today in January on Lake Roosevelt. I hope today you got an idea of a good way to go out and shore fish here in Washington. The slip sinker rig that we use today is very simple and can be used in hundreds of places across the state where we stock hatchery trout. I had a great time today. How about you? Yeah, I had an awesome time. And we hope everybody has a great time fishing Washington.